Man well, said what? Emery's not better than Arteta. What are you chatting about, mate? How many trophies has he won? Look at the clubs he's managed and where he's and where he's winning trophies. Via Real, not better than Arteta. He knocked us out the competition with Via Real, mate. Yeah. Why couldn't Why couldn't Arteta beat Via Real? Can, can we not compete with him? He won the Europa League with Via Real. He then gets in the Champions League in a group with United, Atalanta, and Young Boys. Gets out the group, yeah, when he weren't supposed to, because it was Atalanta and United supposed to. He then gets into the next round, gets Juventus and slaps them to pieces. Yeah, battered them on their own park. Then he gets Bayern Munich and knocks them out. Yeah, then gets in the semi-final of the Champions League and takes the lead against Liverpool. Yeah, it was it was harder for Unai to get in the top four than it was for this idiot in four years. Like it, mm. it makes no sense. Yeah, he's, Unai Emery's taken Aston Villa from 16th to fifth or sixth, just like that. What, how many players did he sign? Did he get any mm. signings in January? I, I don't. I don't, I don't think he signed anyone in January. You know, there we go. It's mad. Exactly. Bro, fucking hell. Martin Odegaard. Yeah, I can still see him waving from Gibraltar Rock. What a fucking bum that geezer is. I cannot stand him, mate. Yeah, but mm. because he gives it all of that to the crowd. Oh, he mm. loves the club, mate. Yeah, he loves the club. Passion, mate. He loves the club. It's, it's him and Zinchenko, isn't it? Like, they, they yeah. love the club. That, that's what it is. Yeah, love, love the, the club, club merchants, mate. mate. Yeah, where was that little joker the other night? Was he, is, Did he cry? Somebody said to me in my chat he was crying at full time. I don't know if they were taking the piss. He probably yeah. was, mate. I'll be but real. today... I've seen the story doing the rounds that um, the Man City are looking to buy Tierney in the summer. <laughs> I will fucking piss myself if Tierney ends up at City. Oh, bro. Yeah. If they if do that to you, makes him mad. inverted, mate. He will not be inverting. Yeah? yeah. He'll be playing up and down that left hand side. Yeah. I'll <laughs> piss myself if he goes to Man City. Yeah. That would be a good signing for them as well because he gives them another dimension as well because he's a bit of a shit house. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, he's a proper shit house. He's quick, yeah. like super quick as well. Like, I wouldn't say he's as quick as Kyle Walker, but he's no, fucking but, but he can move in it. Like, yeah. if that happens, that would be great. I think he's more likely to go to someone like Newcastle, though. Even that well, would Newcastle be a great and Villa are the other two teams, and that kind of makes sense. But mm. Newcastle yeah, but... would be a good move for him, man, because I think Newcastle, um, if they win another couple games, then the fourth place could be theirs. And if they get that, yeah, hey, bruv, they'll they be in their next phase because they'll yeah, be in the three, Champions what League. What are their process are they in, mate? They've done they'll be in the next phase. They'll be in the next phase, bro. Of how can, in how can Eddie play? Howe take a team that was 16th or 18th? In, in fact, they were fucking 19th in the league when he got the job. How can mm. he take them up the table and then the following season get them in the Champions League? Mm. How can he do that? But we're sitting there jizzing over second place four years later. Like, Eddie Howe has literally just done what Arteta couldn't do for the first two after, years. After years. two eighth place finishes, you know, and we can't say that Newcastle had better players than Arteta, bro. Because come on. No. Like we can't oh, see that. No way. Like they've got some good players, yeah, but yeah. They, they, their squad in general is not as good as us. Yeah. No, but yeah, um, who in. did Arteta get the job from? Unai or someone else? Yeah, Unai Emery. Another exactly. One. And didn't and didn't Unai like, bro? Didn't Unai have you? Where were you playing? Europa League or something like that? We or Europa League final and finished fifth. Well, there you go. So yeah, fifth place Europa League final or Newcastle at the bottom of the table. Which job's harder? Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? But apparently Unai nearly relegated us, mate. He left a mess. Yeah, mm. these idiots ain't got a fucking clue what they're talking about. When Unai got sacked, we were joint sixth, eight points off fourth. Mm. But apparently we were in a relegation fight. We were going to get relegated, mate. Yeah, a load of toxic players. Okay, cool. How comes it's taken four seasons for this clown to overtake Unai's points tally for his only season then? Oh, but Rance, the landscape was different back then, mate. That's all I keep hearing. The, la the landscape yeah. was different. What, are they all gardeners? What the fuck are you chatting about? Like, what do you mean the landscape was different back then? Yeah, Liverpool were yeah. falling off. They weren't falling off when Unai was here. Chelsea hadn't fallen off when Unai was here. Like, Man City was still doing what they were doing when Unai was here. Man United were still there or thereabouts when, in fact, you had Oli. I think we finished second. We did. Like, well, there you go. So, what, and, what and we lost, harder? and I think, and we lost, um, I think we lost the cup final as well. Yeah, it was, it was harder for Unai to get in the top four than it was for this idiot in four years. Like, it, mm. it makes no sense. Yeah, he's, Unai Emery's taken Aston Villa from 16th to 5th or 6th. Just like that. What, how many players did he sign? Did he get any mm. signings in January? I, I don't, I don't, I don't think he signed anyone in January. You know there we go. It's mad. But, but there's, uh, there's always been this myth around Unai Emery that he's not a good manager, though, because it's like, bro, look what he's done in the Europa League in Spain since he's left Arsenal. And mm. then 
Bro, I think he even done something in, in that league before he joined Arsenal. And then it's like... Yeah, he won the Europa League three in a row with Sevilla. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? So, and then look what he's done again. Look what but, he's mate, done he, again. He bottled, a, he bottled a 4-0 lead against Barcelona, mate. Yeah, yeah but this is it. So this history, notion mate. that he's not better, a better manager than Arteta when he is, clearly. Do you know what I mean? It's, I, I don't know. Football's, football's weirdly. Like Unai Emery probably wouldn't have won us a title. Yeah, probably wouldn't have won us at all. So I don't think he's that great. He's a very, very good manager. Yeah, and I think he's he's better than Arteta in my opinion. But yeah, one thing is. I do like about Unai, he has a go in the cups. Yeah, he'll take the cups seriously because if you're not going to be able to win the league, you still have a go, but you're not going to be able to win it. Let's say, at least you're still in the cups and you've got sand else to get your teeth into. Yeah, this manager's gone fuck it. Yeah, I'll put the kids out against Brighton in the in the League Cup. Yeah. I don't matter. Put the put the reserves out in the second leg against Sporting Lisbon when we're two two. Like, what are you chatting? And then, oh yeah, but if we played Man City with our full team, meh, 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 oh, shut up, man. Yeah, we played mm. Man City with our full team like the other night and got absolutely slapped. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That could have been ten. It could have been the ten. Thing is, if it was ten, yeah, it wouldn't have flattered them. You know when you. You know when you see certain games and you think, oh, the, the scoreline don't reflect the game, bruv? Mm. You got battered, bruv. Like, that's one, of the, that's one of the most one-sided games I've yeah. seen. Yeah. Yeah. He scuffed every shot, bro. He could have scored five. Yeah, That the was point. the most one-sided football match I've probably seen, yeah, this decade, yeah. bruv. Like, another one, remember when we popped Spurs at the start of the season? We popped them, like, 3-0 at our gaff, yeah? And I don't, mm. I don't even know if they had a shot on target, bruv, like. I, I like bro, like it was worse than that. Do you know what I mean? It was worse than that. Like what no, Man City done to you, lot? Man said Emery's not better than Arteta. What are you chatting about, mate? How many trophies has he won? Look at the clubs he's managed and where he's and where he's winning trophies. Via Real, not better than Arteta. He knocked us out the competition with Via Real, mate. Yeah. Why couldn't Why couldn't Arteta beat Via Real? Can, can we not compete with him? He won the Europa League with Via Real. Mm. He then gets in the Champions League in a group with United, Atalanta, and Young Boys. Gets out the group, yeah, when he weren't supposed to, because it was Atalanta mm. and United supposed to. He then gets into the next round, gets Juventus and slaps them to pieces. Yeah, battered them on their own park. Then he gets Bayern Munich and knocks them out. Yeah, then gets in the semi final of the Champions League and takes the lead against Liverpool. Like, what are you talking about? This manager can't even beat Olympiacos, Sporting, or Via Real. But oh, we're back in the Champions League, mate. Who mm. gives a fuck? Like, mate, just get me a serial winner in this club. There's plenty available. Yeah, this manager is not going to win us. Fuck all. No, just he's get me not. A manager. He's absolutely not. But you know what it is, yeah? It's like he gets along with the players, Lee. And th- th- that's just what you lot are trying to build right now. You're just trying to build a nice club, yeah, PR wise, that makes a lot of money for. For the owners, like I don't, I don't, I almost feel like Arsenal ended up in this position by accident, you know, like that. Like they had no fucking intent, yeah, on winning this league. Because the funny thing is, yeah, like you know what I don't understand? If Arsenal were willing to spend what about 70 million on Mudrick, yeah, why didn't mm. you spend that money, yeah, on a central midfielder, yeah, that was actually good, bruv, instead of bringing in Jorginho for like five quid? Like, oh, because, because that because the money's there. We kept good relations with Brighton, mate. Kept good relations with Brighton. Like, but the money's the there, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? The money's there, Lee. So if there was seventy million there for that guy, why didn't you spend the seventy million on um, a midfielder that you actually needed? Just like what I said about Liverpool, yeah. They wanted Chouamani, yeah, and they didn't get Chouamani, yeah. So why didn't you spend that same money on another midfielder? Why'd you go out and spend a hundred million on a fucking striker that you didn't need, bro? Do you know what I mean? It's like, bro, the, the, these men are not showing no real intent, bro. There is money there, but only for certain players. What does that even mean, he, bro? He, like, he wants players that are not superstars, that are not already at the top of their game, yeah, other yeah. than Jesus. Yeah, but, like... He, he, he doesn't mean want... start for his country, though. Let's be real, Lee. Exactly. Like, bro, they, but, and this, but this is the thing. He wants players that he can control. He can't control a fucking world-class footballer. Yeah, he can't control top, top players. He wants to have a bunch of yes-men all right, it's mad, bro. It's crazy, and and ultimately, this youth project is a load of bollocks. Yeah, let's mm. be real, right? Somebody said this in my chat earlier. Yeah, how many of them players are actually youth? Saka, Martinelli, Saliba, and Smith Rowe. The rest of them have been playing professional football at teams for about six years. Mm. 
Yeah, let's be real. They're not kids. They're all international footballers. Yeah, but because they're the average age of the squad is the second youngest, who cares, man? Yeah, this is why I didn't want it. Yeah, because ultimately when it fails, it's oh, it's a young squad. Nobody expected it. Anyone who's trusted the process for four years did expect it. So let's stop chatting shit. Otherwise, what are you backing?